Henry and Mudge, the first book. Henry. Henry had no brothers and no sisters. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no friends on his street. I want to live on a different street, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no pets at home. I want to have a dog, he told his parents. Sorry, they almost said. But first they looked at their house with no brothers and sisters. Then they looked at their street with no children. Then they looked at Henry's face. Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said, I want to hug you. Henry told his parents and he did. Mudge. Henry stretched for a dog. Not just any dog, said Henry. Not a short one, he said. Not a curly one, he said. Not and no and no pointed ears. Then he found Mudge. Mudge had floppy ears, no pointed, and Mudge had striped far, not curly, but Mudge was so short because his puppy, Henry said, he'll grow. And did he ever, he grew out of his puppy cage, he grew out of his dog cage, He grew out of seven colors in a row, and when he finally stopped growing, he righted 180 pounds. He stood three feet tall, and he drooled. I'm glad you're not short, Henry said. And Mudge licked him, then sat on him. Henry. Henry used to walk to school all, all alone. When he walked, walked he used Worry about tor tornadoes, ghosts, biting dogs, and billies. He walked as fast as he could. He looked straight ahead. He never looked back. But now he walked to school with Mudge. And now when he walked, he thought about vanilla ice cream, rain, rocks, and good dreams. He walked to school, but not too fast. He walked to school, but sometimes backward. He walked to school and patted Mother's big head, happy. Much. Much loved Henry's room. He loved the dirty sex. He loved the stuffed bear. He loved the fish tank. But mostly he loved Henry's bed.
Your cousin Henry's dad was Henry. Mud loved to climb in with Henry. Then he loved to smell him. Smell. He smelled his lemon hair. He smelled his milky mouth. He smelled his soapy ears. He smelled his chocolate fingers. Then he put his head by Henry's head. He looked at the f fish tank. He looked at the bear. He looked at Henry. He licked him, and he fell asleep. One day, Mud took a walk with ha without Henry. The sun was shining. The birds was were flying. The grass smelled sweet. Mud couldn't wait for Henry, so he left. He went down one road, sniffing the bush, bushes, then down another road, kicking up dust. He went through a field, across a stream, into some pine trees. And when he came out on the other side, he was lost. He couldn't smell Henry. He couldn't smell his front porch. He couldn't smell the street he lived on. Mud looked all around and didn't see anything or anyone. He knew. He went a little, little alone without Henry. Then he lay down alone without Henry. He missed Henry's bed. Henry. Henry thought much would be with him always. He thought Mudge made everything safe. He thought Mudge would never go away. And when Mudge did go away, when Henry called and called, but Mudge didn't come, Henry's heart hurt, and he cried for an hour. But when he finished. Crying, Henry said, "Much loved me. He wouldn't live. He must be lost." So Henry walked and walked, and he called and called, and he looked and looked for his dog Mudge. He looked, walked down one road, then road. Down another road, the sun shone as Henry ran through a field, calling and calling. The birds flew past as he stood beside a stream, calling and calling. And his tears fell again as he looked at the empty pine trees for his lost dog. Much he called one last time. And Much woke up from his lonely sleep. Then came running. Henry and Mitch. Every day when Henry woke up, he saw Henry's big hat. And every day when Mitch woke up, he saw Henry's small face.
They ate breakfast at the same time. They ate supper at the same time. And when Henry was at school, Mudge just lay around and waited. Mudge never went for a walk without Henry again, and Henry never worried that Mudge would leave. Because sometimes in their dreams, they saw long silent roads, big wide fields, deep streams, and pine trees. In those dreams, Mudge was alone and Henry was alone. So, when Mudge woke up, he knew Henry was with him. He remembered the dream and stayed closer. And when Henry woke up and knew what was with him, he remembered the dream and the looking and the calling and the fear, and he knew he would never lose much again.